everybody, welcome to the channel for a new introduction video. So this is going to be the, the short video to explain you which list did I bring to the Interregio, which was a huge event that just took part last weekend. I was taking part with the Swiss ETC team. Um, we were a total of 348 players. I think the biggest 9th stage event of the year, like it was last year which is amazing. We won it uh, the previous two years, so definitely a lot of teams were expecting us to uh, to be the favorite and wanted to are going to compete with us and try to try to beat us. So definitely we knew that we had a, a target on our back. Regarding the teams, we have um, it's always um, the French region competing against each other and since a lot of years they always invite the Swiss, the Belgium and uh, Luxembourg, so the rest of the French speaking community to the event as well. We had uh, five rounds of three and a half hours, including included pairings and the painting score was, was quite huge in this event. It was uh, like 20% of the final score, something like that. So it's, it's quite huge. Um, and you know that you need to bring nice army if you want to win it. I think a good proof of that is last year. We weren't the best team on points, but due to the painting score, it allowed us to claim above the other competitors and win it. So definitely the painting score is something very important. And also another proof of that is for us, the main preparation for this event has been painting. Basically, it was strange because we didn't play a lot. I had like three, I think five game total with my list, not the final list uh, since ETC. And the other players, I think not more than that. Xavier didn't play at all with his list before the event. So it was mainly painting and prepare nice army and also be relaxed. We had a lot of changes regarding what we play at ETC. Uh, Xavier switched from more of the Dark God to Vermin Swarm. I decided to switch from Ogre Khan to ID. Main reason behind that, a um, couple of reasons I could say. First of all, wanted to change a bit from Ogre Khan because I played a lot with the book during the last years. And I wanted to try something new until at least the point update, and then I will see what I will do. Second reason was to get the motivation to paint something because my Ogre Khan army was finished and got a good painting score last year at this event. So I thought, why not try to bring nice, uh, nicely painted uh, Infernal Dwarfs? And I didn't play them in tournaments since a couple of years, so I knew that I had quite a lot to paint. And this was also the motivation to do it because you know how it is with painting. You need to have a tournament scheduled to be motivated to paint. It's always the same. You need a deadline <laughs> to, 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 be, to be ready to paint. Um, my cousin Max Lismeister switched from VC to Bistard. A Pulp switched from KOE to SA. Andy kept his Ibon Elves. It's the only player that kept what he played uh, all year long. And Dim, our coach, brought the Warf's Dark God. So a lot of changes. We weren't well prepared, I could say. Uh, we made some matchup rating, but like uh, equal, equal plus, so very approximative. We didn't bring the software, pairing software with us. We made it on hand. We felt if the matchup estimation are not perfectly accurate, it doesn't bring a lot to to just follow the software. It's better to do it with the, on hand and just like thinking about the matchup quite live also and make the correction if needed. This is my army on the presentation board. I must say I was a bit disappointed of the presentation board that I completely failed. To be honest, I I just bought the wrong material. I bring I brought some. I think it's also called the same in English in French. It's Sagex. I don't know in English the word for that, but it's like uh, I don't know, not rigid enough. And basically, uh, everything started to fall apart after I applied um, the spray. So. Yeah, <laughs> the, like the chemical reaction, like made it uh, crumble a bit. I thought I put a like a paste on it, and I felt it was like thick enough to not go through. But uh, yeah, it didn't well as expected. So it was an experience. The presentation board is now uh, has been thrown away after the event basically because it was like too heavy and uh, crumbling apart basically so <laughs> I tried to rush it in three days to make a presentation bot in three days which was a bad idea I think you need to take time for that and uh, definitely wasn't the right plan so I'll try to do something better next year uh, what did I paint for this event in like less than two months I would say uh, shooty titan pimp the lugar so I had them painting but I improved them a bit the bastion um, the mage Ashurok, the little mage, and like 20 something of the vassal, I would say. 
something like that. So as you can see, almost the majority of, of the list, like half of the list, I needed to paint it. What do I have in the list? It's similar to the last event. So I still have the Blunderbuss, the two Levis, the two Shekel Slave. Then I kept the disciple, Disciples of Lugar. I just put the Champion and I kept the two Shooty Titan and the Bastion. So no big changes here. And then I have a close up of the character here. Um, so I, I switch a bit the Ashuruk Prophet. I put him with a Binding Scroll instead of Magical Alum. I felt this is going to be more useful. I kind of like the conversion that I made with the Spirit below and then like the Burning Seat uh, who is just sitting on top of that. So I felt it's, it's looking cool. Then here I have the, the Small Mage, uh, Vassal Conjurer, who is basically can be a piece of chaff but also brings um, Raven Swing to the list. Then we have the BSB, which I just a cheaper build I realized now that I completely forgot to use dragon staff all weekend long I didn't have so many combat but still could have been useful sometimes and then I have my overlord uh, on the bull of Shamut. I didn't change the build um, I really like the model I made some conversion here with the, the head behind I already have this model looking like that since a um, long time ago so I was happy to put him back on the board yeah, I guess I think I, that's all. So really going forward to, to talk uh, about the games. I have five battle rec report to come. It's going to be interesting to analyze. Also put some details about the pairings, the matchup ratings and so on. So you will be able to see what happened. If you want more details about all the lists, the scores, everything, uh, you can go on new recruit. The tournament is online and you have all the data you want. So I think that can also be uh, useful for you. Thanks for watching the video and talk to you soon for the first battle report. Bye bye.